if you decide to look further into a network marketing business in order to generate more cash flow for your family I would recommend reviewing the following four elements first is the product or service and on the product or service I would ask five important questions one do you like it is it something you would feel comfortable sharing with others two is there a recognized need in the marketplace it's hard to create a need if one isn't naturally there third does the product meet that need does it solve a legitimate problem for consumers and fourth is it priced to sell can it compete in the marketplace and fifth is it priced for profit is there enough margin for the company and the distributor to be able to generate income for the long term if you can answer the questions on the product to your satisfaction the next element to consider is the company itself is it well run do you believe in the founders or the management team do you feel they have what it takes to go all the way see it doesn't matter how good the product is if the management can't take care of the company good management can change with the times they can handle adversity they can make good decisions make sure you choose a company that can serve you for a long time the third element to consider is the compensation plan and with that there are three important things to look at first a brand new person needs to be able to generate some money fairly quickly it may be an obvious reason but you can probably imagine the ripple effect of a distributor getting involved and having even a small victory fast that can only help with the overall success of the organization second a person should be able to develop a moderate part-time income in a reasonable period of time as they develop their network and as their sales grow they should be able to enjoy more benefits and third for the people who are really serious, for those who decide to really go pro in the network marketing profession, there should be the possibility to make a serious full-time income if they work hard and are committed to developing their skills. If you're comfortable with the product, the company, and the compensation plan, the last thing you should look at is the support that will be made available to you. Does the company have a website? Does it, does it have a solid online reporting tool? Do they have comprehensive training available? Do they host events to help you build your business? If you decide to do this, what kind of a support system can you plug into? Choosing a network marketing company is a personal decision. But evaluating the four elements of product, company, compensation plan, and support is a great place to start. Is the company promising that you're gonna get rich quick or that you can make a lot of money without a lot of effort? That's a red flag. Is there a product that you really believe in that you think can be sold? Or are you being told by salespeople or the person who's trying to recruit you or by the company itself that don't worry about the product, all you have to do is recruit other people into the business? Red flag, warning sign. If you're hearing that, take a second or even a third look. Get to know the customers, the products, the business, have some success, and see where the opportunities might take you to move up in the organization. When I find out how concerned are they about my education, my training, and my development? Is there a space for me to grow? Most important question. You learn everything that you can about the product, make sure it's something that you believe in, and learn everything you can about the industry, and work that system. You have to be very passionate about whatever that company is doing. I would get involved. You can always test drive anything, you know, the product, the service, the community. And, um, and then lean into it a bit. If it feels good, then lean into it a lot. Behind me is the Lincoln Memorial. And this is a place where Martin Luther King Jr. had his famous, I have a dream speech. And at that speech, he talked about his dream for equality for everyone around the world. And that's a noble dream. But I think more people need to remember what it was like when they were kids and the dream was still alive in them before it got beaten out of them by reality, by this paycheck, by these responsibilities, and by having to live for this job to pay the bills. I think people need to remember that, go back to that. Once they know that there's a better way, I think their future is gonna be much brighter. They can live a better life. So if you're considering getting involved in a network marketing company, let me offer you just a few pieces of advice. First, network marketing isn't perfect. It's emotional, it's challenging. Like any entrepreneurial venture, 
it can have its up days and its down days. But if you have an entrepreneurial bone in your body, it's just better. Second, if you're gonna do it, decide to be professional, decide to go pro. It's better to do that than just be this amateur sticking your toe in the water. Third, as any professional, you're gonna have to learn some new skills. And I promise you, inside of the network marketing profession, they're not too difficult to learn. Fourth, like anything worthwhile, it's gonna take some time. Don't expect that you're gonna to get to the finish line right out of the gate. And fifth, it's worth it. It's worth it to be able to take charge of your life again. It's worth it to be able to control your own financial situation. It's worth it for the people you're gonna be able to spend time with. It's worth it for the things you're gonna be able to see and the experiences you're gonna be able to experience. It's worth it for the causes you're gonna be able to contribute to the lives you're gonna be able to touch, the customers you're gonna be able to help, the friendships you're gonna be able to develop. I promise you, it's worth it. Remember, most people are searching for answers just like you are. But I do have to tell you the catch to network marketing. If there is a catch, if you wanna understand this from uh, a, an emotional point of view, people say, well, it sounds too good to be true. It's not, it's hard work, but here's the catch. Most people still don't understand it. So you're gonna to have to endure the loss of social esteem from ignorant people. The uneducated will think less of you. Now, if you can handle that, you're on your way. If that's gonna destroy you, you know what? Entrepreneurship in general probably isn't in your future. If you can face that catch, you can become unstoppable. I want everyone to really contemplate this if they're not in network marketing. You're in a job, you probably have a mortgage, you have rent, you have debt, whatever's going on. You're in a prison. You work just hard enough to keep them from firing you, and they pay you just enough to keep you from quitting. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! I've been there, done that, and bought that t-shirt. In network marketing, if you run into failure, it, it's really just a, a homework lesson for yourself. You really, there's no one to blame. You really have no excuse not to be successful, you just don't. <laughs> people don't want to hear that, but there's so much available to you. If you want to be a good network marketer, be a student to the people above you, be a fellow traveler to the people on the same level, and be a teacher to those below, and know when it's appropriate to do which. People who are not afraid of asking people to buy things, or not afraid of persuading people with a chance they may say no, these people own the future. Nothing happens until something moves. So you gotta go move, you gotta go do something, or nothing's gonna change in your life. In the beginning, you're going to do a lot of things that you don't get paid for. But as you go down the road, you get paid for a lot of things that you don't do. And your job is rehabilitating the spirit, the entrepreneur spirit in all of us. You give it back. You either give it a strong yes or a strong no, but no wishy-washy, dilly-dally stuff in the middle. There's dreams and there are nightmares, but I believe that the biggest nightmare of all is when you don't pursue your dream. You're going to see some monumental growth in this profession. It's an exciting, exciting time to be involved in the network marketing profession. The next 10 years, I see just exponential growth. When that tipping point comes, it's not a matter of asking somebody, have you ever heard about network marketing? You're really asking them, which company are you building your wealth in? We are here to fix the world, to improve relationships with other people, to improve other lives. And the real reward comes as an entrepreneur at any level from teaching somebody something and watching them soar. There is no greater reward. Life's too short to spend it living someone else's dream instead of your own. It's too short to spend it living at a fraction of your potential. Can being an entrepreneur be a challenge at times? Sure. But here's what you get in exchange. It can be yours, something that you built, something that you created, something that you made happen. This balloon represents your dream. It represents entrepreneurship. My wish for all of you is that you would reach out and grab it. The choice is up to you.